Here we will see exception handling using throw statement in C sharp. Throw is a keyword and it is useful to throw an exception manually during the execution of the program. And we can handle those throw exceptions using try catch blocks based on our requirements. Throw keyword will raise only the exceptions that are derived from the exception base class. Exception objects that describe an error are created and then thrown with the throw keyword. By using a throw statement inside a catch block, we can change the resulting exception. You should throw exceptions only when an unexpected or invalid activity occurs that prevents a method from completing its normal function. You can throw any type of throwable object using the keyword throw. It interrupts the method and anything after the throw statement would not be executed unless the thrown exception is handled. There are two ways to use the throw keyword in c -sharp program. First is using throw keyword. Here exceptions can be raised manually by using the throw keyword. Here throwing an exception works anywhere in the program. Throw creates an object of any valid exception type using the new keyword. The throw keyword cannot be used with any other type which does not derive from the exception class. Throw does not reset stack trace and thus the programmer can get information about the actual exception. Second way is rethrowing an exception. You can rethrow an exception from the catch block to pass onto the caller and let the caller handle it they want. Rethrowing an exception means calling Rethrowing an exception means calling the throw statement with or without an exception object inside a catch block. It can only be used inside a catch block. The rethrowing an exception is useful when we want to pass an exception to the caller to handle it in a way that they want. There are two ways for rethrowing an exception. You can use throw keyword with or without exception parameter. That is throw or throw ex. Ex is an object for exception. If we try to rethrow an exception using an exception parameter like throw ex, then the stack trace of the original exception will not be preserved. So, if you want to rethrow an exception, then don't use any exception parameter with throw keyword. Throw ex reset the stack trace so the error appears from the line where the throw ex was written. It is a good programming practice to use throw rather than throw ex as it provides accurate stack information. Difference between throw and throw ex is throw is used to throw current exception whereas throw ex mostly used to create a wrapper of exception. Throw does not reset stack trace and you will get information about the original exception. Throw ex will reset your stack trace so the error will appear from the line where throw ex is written. This diagram specifies how throw and throw ex scenario works. If you use only throw statement, when error 1 occurs, this error is thrown to the next statement. If there error 2 is occurs, then it will display error 1 plus error 2. That is stack trace is maintained. And if we use throw ex scenario, then when error 1 occurs, this exception is thrown to the next statement. If there error 2 occurs, it will display only error 2. That is, no stack trace is maintained here. 